what is the state of affairs? What is the state of play with Indo-US relations more generally? And one pattern that we always witness is that um, in India, uh, there is always this, uh, you know, this a lot of hand wringing that happens whenever there is a new administration, uh, and uh, and for for good reason in some in some cases. For example, when Mr. Obama came, uh, you know, he had given all kinds of interviews about how the problem in Afghanistan goes to Kashmir, uh, how he was not in support, how he was in fact not in support of the nuclear deal in the Senate, and, and so so there were there was there were there were apprehensions as to where Mr. Obama is coming from, what he would do. Uh, and when he came to office, the first few months saw his advisors talking about a G2 um, global, you know, condominium between China and America, where Americans and Indians would, where Americans and, and Chinese would manage the world. And so, you know, there were, there were a lot of apprehensions. But by the time Mr. Obama left office, he was, you know, one of the greatest friends of India that self, self-confessed, uh, self, you know, he had visited India twice. Uh, he had seen both prime ministers closely, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh and Mr. Modi. So in a, in a sense, uh, uh, you know, whatever his personal beliefs uh, would have been, uh, the the fact, the logic, the underlying strategic logic of of, of Indo-US relationship uh, overtook that uh, you know that uh, th those uh, proclivities, and 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 the the relationship became you know attained a certain normality.